Ever wonder what makes a fighter jet soar through the sky? The answer lies in the shape and design of its wings. The wing, you see, is the heart of an airplane, the critical component that generates lift, allowing the aircraft to rise into the air and maintain flight. The science of aerodynamics studies how wings interact with the air around them, and it's this interaction that gives us the power of flight. Now, let's talk about airfoils. An airfoil is essentially a two-dimensional slice of a wing. Imagine taking a wing and cutting it from front to back. The shape you'd see is an airfoil. It has several important features. Firstly, the cord line, a straight line that connects the leading edge of the airfoil, the part that hits the air first, to its trailing edge, where the air leaves the wing. Secondly, the camber line, which is a line drawn halfway between the upper and lower surfaces of the airfoil. The distance between the camber line and cord line at its greatest point is what we call the maximum camber. This is often expressed as a percentage of the cord. Different aircrafts require different types of wings. The wing shape, whether it's trapezoidal, delta, or swept back, is chosen based on the aircraft's purpose and design. For instance, a fighter jet that needs to perform high-speed maneuvers and maintain stability at supersonic speeds might use a different wing shape than a commercial airliner that prioritizes fuel efficiency and passenger comfort. So, the next time you look up and see a plane soaring overhead, remember that the wing isn't just a piece of metal, it's a meticulously designed structure that allows these impressive machines to defy gravity. Delta wings are a common sight on high-performance fighters, but what makes them so special? Well, let's dive right into it. The advantages of delta wings are numerous. They offer large internal volume, which is an absolute boon for storing fuel and landing gear. This is especially beneficial for fighter jets, which require substantial fuel storage for long missions and robust landing gear to withstand demanding landings. But the benefits of delta wings don't stop there. They're particularly effective at producing lift during high angle of attack maneuvers. This means that when a fighter jet with delta wings is angled upward steeply, the wings continue to generate significant lift, allowing the aircraft to maintain altitude or climb. This feature is vital during intense dogfights or when evading incoming threats. Interestingly, delta wings also eliminate the need for a horizontal tail. You might be wondering, why is this a good thing? Well, fewer components mean less weight and drag, which can translate to better speed and maneuverability. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows with delta wings. They do have their fair share of challenges. For instance, they tend to create higher viscous drag because of their large wing area. This drag can slow the aircraft down and negatively impact its overall performance. Delta wings can also create high induced drag at subsonic conditions. This means that when the aircraft is flying slower than the speed of sound, the wings can cause additional drag that can further slow the aircraft. One of the biggest challenges with delta wings is pitch control. The unique shape and design of these wings can make controlling the aircraft's up and down movement tricky. Engineers have found ways to mitigate this issue, such as using canards or horizontal tails, but it remains a notable challenge. Despite their challenges, Delta wings remain a popular choice for their unique advantages in high-performance aircraft. With the right balance of design and technology, these wings can offer an edge in the sky that's hard to beat. Flow management is a key aspect of fighter jet aerodynamics, and it all starts with understanding the boundary layer. This invisible layer of air clinging to the surface of the aircraft can be quite a handful it's a thin, turbulent region where the airspeed drops from its free stream velocity down to a standstill at the aircraft's skin. In this boundary layer, a fascinating dance takes place. Fast-moving vortices like tiny tornadoes of air whirl and twirl, creating turbulence that can affect the aircraft's maneuverability. These vortices can stir up the air like a spoon in a cup of coffee, causing it to swirl and churn in ways that can make the ride a bit bumpy. But don't think for a second that these vortices are the enemy. They're just part of the dynamic, fluid world of aerodynamics. In fact, with the right understanding and design, these vortices can be harnessed and controlled 
to enhance the performance of the aircraft. That's where the ingenious solutions of aerospace engineers come into play. They focus on managing these airflow collisions, not by trying to eliminate them, but rather by strategically placing structures such as wings and fins to improve the aircraft's vectoring and stability. Think of it like a carefully choreographed ballet. Every wing, every fin, every surface of the aircraft is positioned and shaped just right, creating a symphony of airflows that work together to guide the aircraft safely and efficiently through the sky. This is no small feat. It's a delicate balance of forces, a harmony of airflows, all orchestrated by the intricate design of the aircraft. And it's not just about the big picture. Even the smallest details matter. The shape of a wingtip, the angle of a fin, every curve and contour can make a difference in how the air flows around the aircraft and how it performs in flight. From wings to fins, every part of a fighter jet is carefully designed for optimal airflow and stability. This is the art and science of fighter jet aerodynamics. A world where physics meets ingenuity, and where the boundary layer, once understood and managed, becomes a powerful ally in the quest for superior performance in the skies. Aerodynamics is an evolving field, with researchers constantly seeking ways to enhance performance. So, what does the future hold? Well, there's a whirlwind of innovation on the horizon that's set to revolutionize the way we design and fly aircraft. In the pursuit of superior performance, designers are exploring stealthier aircraft configurations. The goal is to reduce the number of protruding structures, blend the wing body configurations, and improve stealth characteristics. This could result in aircraft that are less detectable and potentially more efficient. On a similar note, there's a growing interest in boundary layer management. This involves understanding and controlling the thin layer of air that clings to the surface of an aircraft. By doing this, we can reduce drag, increase lift, and improve the overall aerodynamic performance of the aircraft. But it's not just about conventional aircraft. Future vertical lift technology is also being developed. This applies similar aerodynamic principles to helicopter designs, aiming for low radar signatures and improved efficiency. Imagine helicopters that are as stealthy as fighter jets, able to zip through the skies with unparalleled agility. Now let's take it up a notch. The concept of hypersonic flight is no longer just a dream. Researchers at the University of Central Florida are working on a propulsion system that can stabilize detonation waves, allowing speeds of Mach 6 to 17. To put that into perspective, we're talking about speeds ranging from over 4,600 to 13,000 miles per hour. This technology could revolutionize both air travel and space missions, shrinking our world and expanding our reach into the cosmos. So what's the takeaway here? The future of aerodynamics is a sky teeming with potential. From stealthier designs and improved boundary layer management, to the tantalizing prospect of hypersonic flight, the next few decades promise to be an exciting time for aviation. The sky's the limit when it comes to the future of aerodynamics, with promising advancements on the horizon. Improved maneuverability, reduced drag, increased lift. These are the hallmarks of next-generation fighter jets. The evolution of aerodynamics is propelling these high-performance aircraft to new heights, literally and metaphorically. At the heart of this progress is a deep understanding of how air interacts with the structure of the aircraft, how it flows over the wings, around the fuselage and past the tail. This knowledge has allowed engineers to design aircraft that slice through the air with minimal resistance, resulting in reduced drag and improved fuel efficiency. But it's not just about speed. Next-generation fighter jets are also defined by their maneuverability. Advanced aerodynamic design allows these jets to perform complex maneuvers that were once thought impossible. Imagine a jet that can turn on a dime, climb at an astonishing rate, or even hover in place. These feats of aerial acrobatics are becoming reality, thanks to breakthroughs in aerodynamics. Increased lift is another key characteristic of these next-generation jets. Lift is what allows an aircraft to rise into the air and stay there. Through a careful understanding and application of aerodynamics, engineers can design wings that generate more lift, allowing fighter jets to carry heavier payloads and reach higher altitudes. And let's not forget about stealth. 
The quest for invisibility has led to new aerodynamic designs that minimize radar signatures. These stealthier designs make the jets harder to detect, giving them an edge in combat situations. The world of fighter jet aerodynamics is a realm of constant innovation. New materials, advanced computational models, and groundbreaking research are all driving the development of next-generation fighter jets. These advancements are resulting in aircraft that are faster, more maneuverable, and more efficient than ever before. In the world of fighter jet aerodynamics, the quest for superior performance never ends. The next generation of fighter jets, fueled by the relentless pursuit of aerodynamic perfection, promises to rewrite the rulebook of what's possible in the skies. And that's a future worth looking forward to.